I'm Rob Easter with TheBigBangLife.com and I'm working on a magneto chest plate. This is part two of the series, so if you tuned in last week, you saw that I took a template and I actually traced out the template using an X-Acto knife so that I can have a guide to do my 3D effects on this piece of foam. Uh, one of the things that you want to think about when you're about to apply heat to foam is that foam is very toxic. It gives off fumes, that is uh, carcinogens, when you heat it. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. I'm actually going to open up my garage door here in a second, and I'm going to set up a fan so it blows the fumes outside the garage. Uh, respirator like I will be wearing a respirator for some of this stuff I'm not going to do it on this because I'm not doing a whole lot of foam or heating of the foam uh, but this will also seal your product there's like little pores all in this and you want them to kind of close up it's going to open up so that we have a guide when we're using our Dremel tool to give it this 3D effect so uh, let's do it Okay, I have my fan set up. I have the garage doors open so that I have plenty of ventilation. I've got my heat gun and I'm gonna heat it up and see how it goes. Okay, as you can see, the heat actually separated the foam around where I used the X-Acto knife to cut out for my template. The problem is that my cuts weren't exactly precise because, you know, I'm just looking at the template and everything like that. So you can see where some of your edges haven't come together and everything like that. So the next step that you want to do is to actually go back in with your X-Acto knife and kind of clean up inside where the foam is not connected and you need to make the connections. Uh, again, be really careful to not cut through your foam all the way or anything like that. You're just wanting to do the same motion that you did for the first part, but all you're doing is cleaning up and then we're going to reheat it again and see if we can get it a little bit smoother. Okay. So I went through and I've retraced all my lines with my exacto knife again, making sure that I make all the connections that was missed the first time, and going just this tight, I just run it through everything just to make sure that I had a nice smooth uh, transition between them. What I'm hoping is that this time when I heat the foam, I'm going to get a little bit wider spread on all of my stuff. My connections will all be made and that will make it a lot easier for the next part. 